Life is finite and fragile, and just because something is there one day, it might not be there the next. Never take that for granted. Say what you need to say, then say a little more. Say too much, show too much, love too much. Everything is temporary, but love. Love outlives us all. When I think about the years we spent together and the many years we've had to go, my heart is not filled with nervousness, being anxious, or even just being scared of the unknown, but it's filled with so much excitement, overflowing with love and reassurance that you will always take care of it. You've never not tended to my weak sides or my hurting moments. You have always picked me up and gave me exactly what I needed in each moment, whether that be with words, your touch, or simply just your love. As a little girl, I never had much to look at for what true love meant. I saw movies, of course, but I didn't know it would be something that I would actually find. I remember as a kid, I just looked at my parents and how happy they were. Even though it was gross watching them kiss, I always wanted that type of love. So where no matter what happened through the years, love endured. I remember growing up and wishing I could fast forward through time and find out who my future wife would be so I could spend the most amount of time on this earth with them as I could. Back then you could have told me Morgan Holland would be your future wife and I would never believe you. I couldn't help but uh, ask God, have I been a, a good father to my daughter? And uh, you know how God talks to you in that little whisper and, and he said you was all she needed, but more importantly, I gave her to you because she was exactly what you needed. And uh, over the years, it's uh, become so evident how true that is. And uh, we've been there since the first day you took a breath in this world. And I can honestly say that uh, it was not only a blessing to be your parents, but it was an honor to watch you grow and to mature into the woman you are today. I was so nervous when I first met you. Barely could even look your way or get a sentence out, and you know that's rare for me. I thought you were the most handsome man I had ever seen. Definitely not that skinny little awkward boy I glanced at at the Bible church when we were kids. After that first date where we talked forever on your couch like we had always known each other, everything just came easy with you. All the memories, the fun, laughs, love, even handling our hardest situations has been easy together. This beautiful dress, boo. Yes, it's gorgeous. I have to say that when I first heard about you, I went looking for that dull garden hoe I was talking about earlier. Then I got to know you and I seen that you were a hardworking, respectful young man. And it didn't hurt that you wore boots and a buckle and man pants. <laughs> Because a few that came calling had on skinny jeans. I knew they wouldn't make the cut though. <clears throat> I began to notice how you interacted with Morgan and the sweet things you did for her. And being a man, I knew she had captured your heart. I can remember being on the job, talking with the guys about our families and telling them that you were the one. I can say without a doubt, I could not have handpicked a more perfect husband for our daughter. I, uh, Garrett, Garrett. Uh, John Garrett Nichols. John Garrett Nichols. Take thee. Take thee. Morgan Danielle Holland. Morgan Danielle Holland. 
To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself to you. And thereto I pledge myself to you. Kiss your bra. Through your life, <clears throat> I prayed that God would take the best parts of everyone that had something to do with raising you and put all them into you. And seeing you today for the first time in your dress and walking you down this aisle, I, I know that God heard my prayers. Thanks for giving me the best second family I could ever ask for. Your dad and mom are some of the best people I could ever ask for. And if we ever need anything, they would, at the drop of a hat, help us. But here we are, March 6th. <laughs> Finally made it here. It was a year to say the least. Sometimes it felt like forever and others, oh crap, it's almost here. From the countless stressful nights trying to put a win together to now, I wouldn't change a thing. Well, we finally made it. I love you with every part of me. I can't wait to hear it. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> I love you, Morgan, from now until forever. <laughs>